tick tock tick tock tick tock that my friend is the sound of the nearing of the coming of the Lord are you prepared to meet him father I just thank you that your word is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword and even now, as it goes forth, I thank you that it pairs even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow. God, your word goes forward, lands on good soil, and bring forth fruit in abundance. I praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is so good, and his mercy endures forever and ever and ever. I want you to know, my friend, that God is long-suffering toward us. He is long-suffering toward his master creation, mankind. Our God is so patient that he has delayed his coming. You know, many say that Jesus is coming from I was a child and he hasn't come yet. He has delayed his coming because he loves you. He has delayed his coming so that you might be given another opportunity to hear his word, repent, and be born again. Two minutes to the return of the Lord. Tick, tock, tick, tock. That's the sound of the coming of the Lord. Acts chapter 1, verse 6 through 11 says this. When they therefore were come together, they ask of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which is the Father had put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they yet beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. My friend, Jesus is coming back again. The Bible says that as the lightning flashes from the east to the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. And he's coming in the heavens. He is coming quickly. And the question is, are you prepared to meet him? Several weeks ago, we had Super Bowl 52. And in that uh, particular game, at, at two minutes to the close of the game, I guarantee you that both teams began to pray. One prayed that the clock would be sped up. The other prayed that the clock would slow down. And neither team had the ability to slow uh, off to quicken time or slow time down. Neither team had the ability to do that. And that is the same way it is with the coming of the Lord. The Bible says that no one knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall appear, but the Father himself knows. So we don't know. We can't say, well, you know, I'm going to get saved when I'm 25. Jesus could come tomorrow. You can't say I'm going to get saved when I'm, when after I would have done all the things that I want to accomplish in life, then I'll give my heart to the Lord. You not promise that. You not promise the next moment. Now is the day of salvation. The Bible says, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. You not promise another moment. But this is the time that you're promised. This is the hour that you're promised right now. Tick, talk. Tick talk that is the sound of the coming of the lord you remember the story of noah the bible says that god told noah to build an ark because it was going to rain he was going to destroy the earth with flood 
and at that time there never been any rain there was no the only thing that they had at that time on the earth was the dew the dew was what was used to water the grass and the flowers there was no rain and so the people didn't know anything about rain and so when Noah began to build this ark and we know from the Bible that he built this ark for 120 years and when he began to build this ark the people no doubt began to mock and to scorn him and, and make fun of him you crazy man what are you doing building this big old boat what are you doing but Noah built one day after the other he built he knocked he hammered the nail and and he just built because God had told him he was going to destroy the earth with flood Jesus was is about to come and we here I'm here telling you that Jesus is about to return. Me and many like me have been preaching time and time again about the coming of the Lord. Are you one of those ones like the days of Noah who would mock, who, would, who mocked and scorned him and laughed at him? Are you one of those persons? The Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. They laughed at Noah. They laughed at him, but the time came when the Bible says that the Lord locked Noah and the animals in the ark and no one could open that door, not from the outside, nor from the inside, because God himself had locked it. It was too late for them to get in the ark. It was too late for them to get in the ark of safety. But if you are here today and you hear my voice, you have, a, you have time, you have an opportunity to repent and to give your heart to the Lord. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Are you one of the mockers? Or will you be one of those persons who got into the ark of safety? Living in the Bahamas, we have off we have hurricane season where the where we hear such terms as hurricane warning and hurricane watch and so forth. The hurricane watch says that we have 48 hours to make ready for this hurricane that is approaching the Bahamas. Hurricane warning says that we have even less time. We have 36 hours to make ready for the coming of this hurricane. Listen to me, people. In the middle of a hurricane, we don't know, we don't have the time to batten up our homes. We don't have the ability to go and buy grocery from the and uh, from the food store, or go and buy lumber from the from the hardware store and a nail and so forth. No, 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 no. We don't have time to do any of that. And that is how it is with the coming of the Lord, because we don't know when He is coming. We can't decide that we're going to make ready when we when we feel like making ready we can't decide that we're going to make ready you know oh when he comes i'm going to be pulling on my sock no 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 you better be ready now is the day of salvation not tomorrow not next week now is the day of salvation if you hear my voice harden not your heart because god is coming back and he's coming back for a ready people he's coming back for persons who would have accepted his son and the work of the cross are you one of them are you one of them because death is going to knock at your door Dead is going to knock at your door. And when dead knock at your door, you'll not be able to say, go away and come back another day. And I often tell people and I often say that we can, we can cancel doctor's appointment. We can, we can cancel dental appointment. We can cancel all kinds of appointment. But death is one appointment you will not be able to cancel. It knocks at your door. It will knock at your door. Are you ready? Because it's two minutes to the return of Christ. Behold, I come quickly. I come quickly. And my reward is with me. Are you going to get a reward? Are you going to be one of those persons to, that will hear, welcome, come into my presence? Or are you going to be one of those persons to hear, I don't know you? Two minutes to the return of the Lord. You're under the sound of my voice. You don't know him. I want to encourage you. The Bible said we confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that God had raised Jesus from the dead. We shall be saved. Now is the appointed time. Now is the day of salvation. Do you know him in the pardon of your sins? You can repeat after me. 
And one of the things that I like about God is that you can be wherever you want to be. You can be in the car, you can be in the in the bathroom, you can be in the kitchen, you can be in the in the in the on walking on the street, in the park, you can be wherever God is omnipresent. He can meet you right there. He can be meet you right where you are. Repeat after me, Lord Jesus. I recognize that I am a sinner. I ask that you would come into my heart and make me a new creature in Christ Jesus. I acknowledge my need for you and it's by faith that I receive you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, glory to God. The Bible says when one soul comes to repentance, the angels rejoice. So there's rejoicing in heaven. And I give thanks to the Lord. You may you may have been one of those persons who invited the Lord to come into your heart. Well, this is the day now that you will next year, this time so will be your birthday. And I want to encourage you to go to a Bible-believing church, one that is going to feed you and cause you to grow. I, but there's a song that says, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. I want to encourage you to read your Bible and to pray. Read the book of John. That's a good book to read when you when when you just come into the kingdom. The Gospel of John. Read that and watch the Lord call, um, uh, feed you and watch the Lord uh, uh, cause you to, to develop and to become what he's called you to be. Oh, glory be to God. It is so exciting when one soul come to repentance. And I know one soul has come to repentance because the Bible says his word never returns unto him void. And so, so I thank God for the opportunity. And so don't forget now to like, share, comment, and subscribe because God is good and he's doing a good work. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So thank you once again. I love you. God loves you. And I will see you again soon. Much love.